Hello guys, welcome to my new video. Today I'll be talking to about stop and meet mechanism noise with channel. Receiver has unlimited buffer, requires flow control. Flow control means uh, how much of data should be sent before waiting for the acknowledgement. Flow control tells that and in this mechanism, sender sends one frame at a time and waits for an acknowledgement. Now, this is the diagram of stop and wait. Here, network layer sends data to data link layer. Data link in fact sends data to physical layer. Then it forms a frame and it sends that frame to Receiver, receiver receives the frame, data link layer gets the frame and transmits to network. And if the frame is delivered successfully, data link layer sends a frame called acknowledgement frame to the physical and then to data link layer. So it has a set of algorithms on center side as well as a set of algorithms in receiver side. This is a simple program for stop and wait. This is a diagram, flow diagram. Here we see request is sent and before and it arrives successfully over here. So it sends an acknowledgement. We can see that until and unless it receives acknowledgement, it won't send any other frame. It receives and again sends acknowledgement and the same process repeats. In noisy channel, an error can happen and it will happen. Because in noisy channel, frames can be lost, acknowledgement can be lost, etc. So, we are talking about uh, stop and wait for noisy channel. In this, the sender sends a copy of send frame until successfully deliver is ensured. Sender sends a copy of send frame until it ensures that it has successfully delivered the frame to the receiver. Receiver responds with an acknowledgement when it receives successfully. Both data and acknowledgement must be numbered. In this each frame has to be numbered. The sender does not receive an acknowledgement within certain amount of time. It sends the frame, that means it retransmits the frame to receiver. We'll see how is it. Uh, here we see after going timeout, the sender sets the frame again. It has assumed that the frame is lost. It's a flow diagram. This is normal operation. In this we are sending the frame, it is receiving, and it's sending another frame. And it is receiving. Now we have to think why frames have to be numbered. Because frames, if they are not numbered, then it, we won't know which frame is lost and which frame it is received by the receiver. And this, this is top and weight mechanism on IC channel. Frame is sent, acknowledgement is received, and again frame was sent, but the frame 1 was lost. So, within the time limit, it didn't get acknowledgement. So, it sends a frame 1 again, it is assumed that it is lost, and we can see. The acknowledgement is received and it is successfully delivered frame 1 to receive. Next we see loss of acknowledgement. Here 
frame is sent. Acknowledgements is received. Within the time limit, if the if it doesn't get acknowledgement, it sends the frame again. And when it gets acknowledgement, it understands that receiver has received it. Next, delayed acknowledgement. This we see uh, frame 1 is sent, frame 0 is also sent, but no, so frame 1 is sent, it is delivered, but acknowledgement is received only after it gets timed out. Frame 0 is sent again. Because it doesn't understand whether it is received or not. So, when it gets acknowledgement, doesn't wait for acknowledgement of this frame, it sends the next frame. Here we see frame 1 is sent, and its acknowledgement is uh, frame 1 is lost. So, when the time gets over, it sends frame 1 again and it gets delivered successfully and we get acknowledgement. So that's all in stop and wait mechanism for Noisy and Noiseless channel. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and comment if you have any questions. Thank you.